Admirer is a town support role that used to be completely broken before the developers nerfed the crap out of it, and now has the ability to propose to a player at night, which reveals their role to you should they accept, and has differing effects depending on if your lover is a townie or evil. If they're a townie, your life will be tied to them, meaning if they die, you die, and vice versa. You'll also gain the ability to care for them at night twice, granting them powerful defense and cleansing poison, douses, dreamweaves, and silence from them. You'll also bypass jail doing this. If they're evil, however, your life will not be linked to them and you'll be silenced the following day. This is called a toxic relationship. Admirer is certainly one of the most unique roles we've seen. Let's get into how to play it. Number one, proposals and confirming yourself. Despite only being able to be lovers with one person, you can actually use your proposal ability twice, which means if the first player you propose to turns you down, you can try again with another player. This is really important in confirming yourself. Some roles, especially town power roles, are easily hard confirmed but won't want to tie their life to you because of how valuable they are. However, because of how confirmed they are, you can confirm yourself through them. When it's early game and you don't have an actual lover target in mind, tell any hard confirmed townie to reject you, then propose to them that night. Congratulations, you are now just as confirmed as they are since they'll vouch for you, and you still have your second proposal to use whenever you see fit. Number two, who to actually propose to. After we've confirmed ourselves, we'll want to figure out who we want to use our second proposal on, and there are two different routes we can take, which I'll call the protective route and the investigative route. The protective route is to silently become lovers with a semi-confirmed townie, like a town investigative that's been posting, in order to be able to care for them at night and prevent them from dying. If you go this route, remember that your target shouldn't be someone like the Jailer, since actual town protectives will already be on them. We want to choose someone that's likely to be targeted by evils, but not such a prime target that it would be a no-brainer for the town protectives to be on them. Also, remember that since you've confirmed yourself with your first proposal, you do NOT have to say publicly that you're tied to whoever your new lover is. In fact, it's better if you don't, since evils will then know that they can get a two-for-one by killing you, which is the exact opposite of our objective here. The only situation you should come out and say that you're tied to your lover is if their claim is in question and you need to confirm them. The investigative route, on the other hand, is a little more risky and is best utilized in late game when all players have a solid claim and town is narrowing down who the remaining evil is. If your lover isn't evil, the role will still be revealed to you, but you won't be able to speak the next day. So you'll want to publicly announce that you're proposing to player X, and if you don't speak the following day, town should assume they're evil and vote them, then follow through and do it. If they're town, you've confirmed a suspicious player and are one step closer to finding the evil. If they're not, you've already found them and town will vote them up after noticing your silence. And in this situation, rejecting your proposal can be taken as an admission of guilt. Just be extremely cautious of voodoo masters if you decide to use this strategy, since they can silence you even if your lover is town and throw a wrench into the whole plan.